this video, we will be printing this veteran in greater than or equal to four ways, basic to advanced. So the first method will be the most basic one, using two loops, one for the rows, and the inner loop will be for the columns, and using a print statement inside the inner loop. So let's understand the values inside the range. So you can see that the values are in the decreasing order from 5 to 1 okay and in the columns we are printing the same values so in every row you have different values so we are going to print i in the print statement and in the range of i we are going to start from 5 0 not inclusive so the loop will go from 5 to 1 i mean the value of i will go from 5 to 1 and then as we are decreasing the values so we put a step size of minus 1 now in the inner loop we have to put how many times this i will be printed okay so in the first iteration it has to be printed five times so the loop must run five times and the easiest method to do is just put i here okay so let me make you understand this when i is equal to five and here i will be replaced by five by the python and the value of j will be starting from 0 to 5 not inclusive. It means the value will be started from 0 until j is equal to 4. So it will run 5 times. Okay. And let's put back i here. And when i is equal to 4, after the first iteration, it is decremented by 1. So it will be 4 in the next iteration. Then i will be replaced by 4 in the inner loop. And the value of j will be going from 0 to 3, 1 less than 4. So, 0 to 3 is 4 values. So, it will be printed 4 times. Okay. So, you get the picture. Just put back i here and now put a comma here and equals in the single quotes type a space so that you have a space between these columns. Press enter backspace type the print statement here so that you have a next line after this loop has executed finally because this end will print all the integers in the same row so to get rid of that we just printed print here so as to start from the next line and execute this here and you can see that we have the required pattern isn't it now in the method 2 we are going to print it using just one loop rather than using two loops okay so we will be starting from the i value is equal to 5 and we will be using a while loop for that until i is greater than 0 so that we print i is equal to 1 here and the loop exits when i is equal to 0 okay and using a print statement here we'll be using string formatting by using f here and in the curly braces type i here after the curly braces type a space so that you have a space between the columns and multiply it with i itself and decrement the value of i by 1 okay so when i is equal to 5 5 will be printed with a space and multiplied by 5 this is a character so character multiplied by integer 5 will be character printed 5 times so here it will be printed 5 times then i is decremented by 1 then i in the next iteration becomes 4 then 4 with a space is multiplied by 4 that is 4 will be printed 4 times okay and here it is it will be printed 4 times so let's execute it and here you can see that we have the required pattern now in the method third we are going to use a string here which contains the values 5 4 3 2 1 all right and we are going to enumerate over the string i comma z in enumerate over the string s okay and using a print statement we are going to print the value of j that is i is the index and j is the value at that index okay so so when i is equal to 0 j will be 5 okay so we are going to print 5 in the first iteration 5 times so we will be multiplying it by 5 minus i okay so let's understand this j is equal to 5 in the first iteration and it will be printed 5 minus i 
i is equal to 0 in the first iteration 5 minus 0 is 5 so j will be printed 5 times so 5 will be printed 5 times ok and same for the next iteration when i is equal to 1 j is equal to 4 so j is equal to 4 5 minus 1 that is 4 so 4 will be printed 4 times and let's execute it and here you can see the required pattern but we don't have spaces in here so to add a space we are going to add a single quotes with space after j like this and multiply this with the number of times we want to print it and let's execute this now and you can see that we have a required pattern we can use one more method that is for just two lines and a single loop so we are going to use a for loop for that for a i in range and the range will be starting from 5 to 0 not inclusive as we are decreasing the values so we are going to use a step size of minus 1 and use a print statement here we are going to use the same print statement we had just used in the while loop so what we are doing here is converting the while loop into the for loop and here we got the same pattern so finally we can say that the four lines and two loop code has been reduced to one single loop and just two lines okay so it has greatly increased the efficiency and the program size had also decreased please subscribe to support pi pro tricks and that's it for now thank you for watching now it's time to discover more simply click on the screen to subscribe to our channel and watch another video to discover more